continue to follow the mare into the cave, carefully stepping precisely where she does to ensure you don't set off any aforementioned traps. After a few moments you reach her very simple abode. A few mats, table, bags of oats and storage chests all rest upon a small elevated wooden foundation above the dreary cavern floor. So you um actually live here, huh? Huh? Why well, I'm not going on a weekend adventures across the woodlands, yes! Why do you have something to say about it? It's uh it's cute like mushy and seems squirky like paper, but it's like it uh seems coffee. It says me too! Thanks! So what were those absolutely horrible creatures that attacked us? They're called shadow horses! But I only ever heard of them in the legends of old! I didn't think they were real! What legends? Seventeen years ago I was exploring the ancient ruins of Merchu Pichu when I came across a stone tablet. Wow, what kind of stone? Oh god, these voices. Oh, well, what kind of stone? Shepherd base. She's trying to tell a story. The tablet had an inscription in a long forgotten language. It took me ten years to translate it. What did it say? It read as thus. Mares, I love them. Profound. I realized instantly it was a riddle of sorts, but it took another five years to decipher the true meaning. What was that? The letters rearranged to read AM is over the elm. That is very, very cryptic. I think a cryptic is the word you didn't of pepper paste. Of course, I knew what M over the elm meant. It was referring to the sacred mare tree of life in the far off lands beyond the seahorse sea. And what did you do then? I didn't have a ship. I didn't have a ship, so I swam across the ocean. It took 47 days. You have wings, though. That's unbelievable. How did you survive? Through sheer willpower and determination. Oh, anyways, I washed up on the shore of the Forgotten I Isles and crawled for four days to the mere tree of life. At the base of the Great Elm was a wise mere guru by the name of Wispiki. Then I, uh, um... What's wrong? Which story am I telling again? I think I got mixed up on adventures. You were telling us about where those shadow horses came from. Oopsie, yeah, wrong adventure. Disregard all of that, it's not even remotely related. I just noticed these shadow horses popping up every night over the past few days. I've never seen them until now. Have you, Pepper Base? Nope, not once. If that's the case, then I feel the timing with me losing my memories is more than a coincidence. Your memories? That's why we're here! This poor mare Moonlight just popped up out of nowhere with no memory of how! I know you've been basically been everywhere and done everything, so I thought you might know something that could help her amnesia! Hmm, interesting. It's been many moons since I heard such a thing. Wow, I only ever seen one moon. So, you might know how to help get my memories back. Perhaps! There are a few different magical artifacts I'm aware of that can be used in such a way to help you. Did you hear that, Moonlight? That's great news. Well, it won't be easy. Each and every one of these artifacts will be a grueling task to retrieve. You must be ready to push yourself to the absolute limit mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually, and metaphorically. It is very likely that you will fail and all will be lost. Oh. Oh, sorry, that kind of talk usually excites and motivates me. I'm sure you three will be able to do it if you stick together. Mushiwine and Pepper Paste, I can't ask you to do this for me. You've been so helpful already. Don't be silly, Moonlight. We'll support you in any way we can. Yeah, plus we can't just let a cute mare without memories just wander all around the countryside. How will you remember where we were? Uh, you were even going here, poor thing. I mean, I remember everything since Mushiwine found me. I'm not understanding how this whole no memory thing works, but okay. Well, if you're set on this quest, then I have a few questions to ask you. I can help determine which artifact is best suited for you to retrieve. Sure, that makes sense. Ask away. You are walking in the forest and come across a pile of suspiciously placed leaves. What do you do? Jump in them? Uh, definitely not. Uh, avoid them and keep alert. Uh, ask if the leaves want to be my friend. Avoid them and keep alert. 
Smart! That's exactly what I did when I spent 32 days being chased by extremely intelligent temple snakes! Next question! You are walking in a spooky swamp and get ambushed by an army of 10,000 reanimated mare skeletons! How do you react? Save for... <coughs> Save for pepper paste and run into the army. <laughs> Laugh, they don't have muscles. Hmm. <laughs> Beautiful! What she wanted? Oh, minus! Ooh! Okay, final question. How much do you weigh? That's a good question. Hey, that's not something you should be asking. You got to answer, Moonlight! You just got to! It's relevant. Once I was in an enchanted forest and needed to escape by hot air balloon, but I was over the weight limit. Another time I was in a water temple and didn't wait enough for a pressure plate to activate. Uh, fine, fine, I wait. More than I care to admit about the tonless and your mirror. Oh my god. Actually, I don't know. I guess I bought two apples. Not too much, not too little. Sounds good. Well, I think I had a good idea of an artifact you should aim on, on, on getting. What's it called and how do we get it? It's called the Horseshoe of the True Mare Tear and it is only found in the far northern wastelands. Wow, that's far. But we'll go to help Moonlight. Yay, we can do it! Aw, thank you so much, you two. Dopey Breeze gives you a brief lesson on how to find the cave. The Horseshoe of the True Mare Tear is apparently hidden within, a, within and gives you tips on how to defend yourself in the remote regions of the world. You three should be ready to take on the world! And remember, when Moonlight wears the horseshoe of the true meritor, she should be able to remember some things. Perhaps not everything, but it'll be a start. Thank you so much. Also, keep in mind, if you see any more of the shadow horses, you need to stand your ground. Be extra careful at night. They are run <clears throat> relentless. I got scared just thinking of them. Me too. But we'll be careful and we'll stick together. I'm also worried that nowhere is safe from those things. You be safe too, Dobby Breeze. I rescued you, remember? I'll be fine. It's a long trip to the north. Forest, the ta taiga, and an ashen waste as far as the eye can see. I think you a good adventure and I wish you a success. We've got this. It'll be like a no nomadic slumber party. <laughs> Time to set out. Yay. Let's go. Okay, I got so much reading. Whew. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing with this game. Mm. Okay, we're gonna forage. Shit. Should've went for one. Oh, I went after both and I didn't get any. She just needs to grow up and wear a gorgeous dress like there's no tomorrow. That's... Oh, I love how her eyes move. Incredible. Basically, there's only freaking one answer only. <laughs> mm, no green apples for a child. Okay, we're gonna forage. So green apples are very important. Resources here. Forge plus one. Fighting games. We need another apple for that. Ooh, two times. Let's go. Green apples, green apples. Get your green apples, everybody. Now that I know they're really important, I'm gonna focus on getting them all. Ten out of ten, ten out of ten, and nine. Okay. 
Fighting mares. Let's go. You find two mares in a heated argument. I never want to speak to you ever again. Well, that's just fine because I don't want to speak to you either. Wow, what's going on here? She called me an ugly swamp box. But only because she called me an icky trash weasel. Yeah, but not before you called me a good for nothing. Whoa, whoa, whoa there. It's clear that you both the apologize to each other. She's absolutely right. I don't want to be mad at you, Injiku Bananas. <laughs> I always thought you were extremely cute. I, I, you did? But I always thought the exact same about you, too. You smile as the two mares give each other a big hug. Hey, perk level up. Ah, uh, what should I level up? Retreat cost half the tree. Free from mares and not. Decreases cooldown per attack. Okay. We start battle with plus two mirror energy. Just danger meter when you win a battle. That's a good one. Decreases damage per shadow horse attack. You're not using Pegasus mirror. Good type path bark. Wait, evil tire path bark? Wait, um, so these are good things. There's a neutral and bad ending, I'm guessing, okay. Um, energy. Ooh. Forest chance per turn. Let's get this. There we go. Uh, merchant mayor. Can I forage? Oh no, I missed the apple. <laughs> I should have nine. Okay, Marjan Mare. As you're walking along, you st stop your pro Ugh, again. Why only me? I feel like you'd may look into trade. Well, howdy there, friend. Would you care to give me five red apples for two green apples in return? Yes, please. It's a deal. I appreciate your business. Yes, please. Um, cloth of clover. Ooh. You find a cloth of clover. You decide to search for a four-leaf clover. Oh, you couldn't find a four-leaf clover. Two times. Ooh. Yes, give me those greens. Perfect. I'm full now. <laughs> Gonna try to get more red apples. Oh, come on. Nine, but now I have eight. Okay. Marching man. Well, how are you there, friend? Would you care to give me red, three red apples for five sugar cubes in return? No, thank you. No problem. Have a great day. Uh, yeah, no thanks. I have four sugars. So happy you were okay. Got a really long way to go until we find a horseshoe of the true mountain. Uh, whatever. Ah, oh, having lots of hell! It's like super quirky! Hmm. Boom. Boom. And now I used all my sugar. Merchant Mare socks, Mare. Can I choose both? Let's go with socks, Mare. Find a sad looking mare staring down at her hooves. Hello, is everything okay? I guess I just I just wish. What is that that you wish for, little mare? I want socks. I always wanted socks. Understandable socks are pretty great. To feel socks upon my hooves, even for a moment, would complete me. Wow, you really want socks, don't you? More than you could ever know. How about I wish you socks? 
You take my socks. My very own socks! This is the greatest moment of my life! You're such a kind, selfless mare! Of course, I'll miss my socks, but I know you'll take great care of them. Oh, <laughs> That's so cute! I love that touch. Hmm? <laughs> oh, level up. Ah, uh, Chris XP game per friendship. Let's do it. Uh -huh. Oh, I can raise XP. That stuff. The bur bearded man. What? Wait, can I first do the. Let's do the foraging. a rustic establishment and decide to go inside and, and see what's it about. As you make your way inside a group of rugged looking mares with an eye, with an eye you up and down, after a few moments of the support. That looks like the pony we saw. You look like a whole adventurer. Welcome to the Bureau of Mare Friend. Hi there, what is this place? We're a fellowship of adventurers. This is our totally awesome secret club where we sit around and do mare things and talk about how much we love the bearded mare. What's a beard? It's like a mane under your snout and around your mare chin. We are all firm believers that one day a bearded mare will come to this world and... <coughs> God, that was sad. Yeah. So much reading. Well, we don't know what will happen, but it will be really cool. So what made you believe in this, um, mane snouted mare? It was super fun. Every mare at the bearded mare believes in the prophecy of the bearded mare. So what are other things do you all do? Oh, this isn't that. If we like long walks on the beach, holding our friends hooves and exploring dangerous caves to find a hidden treasure. Sounds like a great club. It's the best. We way better than the, those weird uh, witches at the Wilded Ward. Wa wa Our rival club, I take it? Ha! Oh, it's imp imply work. Cool, so we're way cooler than them. You're an adventurer, through and through. I can tell. Wanna join the Bureau of Mare? We have establishment all over the Mare Equestria and look out for each other. Just say you believe in the Bureau of Mare and you're in. So, uh, what I know, there's like um, two achievements, two clubs. Uh, you can join into one. Uh, I'm gonna join this one for now. I believe next time, maybe if I replay, then I will join the other one. I believe in the Bureau of Mare. I May her beard be brave. May her beard be brave. Yay, what now? Now give me a bunch of fun treats for your quest. Just stop by when you're near until they'll take care of you. Take this eye patch too. Oh my god. That's amazing. I love this club already. I don't really need to wear an eye patch, but I sure as hey will, will because it makes me feel cool. Spend some time chatting with your fellow club members and listening to silly stories about the beer with mirror before heading off. Hmm? Damn, I have an eye patch now. <laughs> socks, mirror. I don't have any socks. Oh my god. 13k? Uh, same thing. Sucks now, but I'm going to really miss mine. Aww. I am sorry, Pepper. Should have went to the quest. How can I get your friendship back up? I'm so sorry. Objective. Oh, snow. Game set. Mares for you. I got super duper cold. 
and I took your socks away. I'm so sorry. We reached the taiga. It's a bit more dangerous here. How are you feeling, Moonlight? <laughs> I'm feeling great. That's good to hear. We're making really good time, I think. So, what can we expect from the taiga aside from the cult? Must mirrors! That's my short! Most likely more difficult foraging, too, sadly. Maybe we'll get lucky and run into less shadow forces, too? We can only hope. So, have you remembered anything yet? Not really. Sometimes I glance at something that I feel reminds me of something for a moment, but before I know it, that feeling is gone. Aww, that must be a tough moonlight. If you want to talk about it, we're here for you. I know you both are such a good friends. I don't want to go. Okay. I'm really uh, happy you feel that way. Yay, points back. You smile at uh, your two friends as you turn to face the bitter cold. At least you feel a bit warmer with them by your side. Mm -hmm. And I have an eye patch now. Oh my god, can I? Can I get rid of it? Uh, I'm a pirate now. <laughs> some green apples. Give me green apples. Green apples. Oh, apples. Oh, <laughs> apples. Oh, apples. <laughs> okay. Troll onward. You find breadfruit with a sign next to it that says free gift for cute mares. I don't remember who I gave it to last time. I didn't get to Musha and give it to Pepper Paste. Gross! I hate breadfruit! Don't you know anything about me? I... Uh, mm, uh, I already lost 10 points and now I lost again 10 points with her. Jesus Christ, this is so unfair. This game is so unfair. Oh, I'm so sorry, Mushy Mushy. Do that next time. No, give me one red apple. Okay, fine. Um, try one more. Random mare, random. Uh, okay, random mare. You find burgers with a sign next to it that says free gift. You let Pepper Piss gobble it up. Yay! <laughs> a kid mare walks into a bar and another mare consoles her because she hit her adorable little mare head on it. Ouchies! Socks mirror again and then. Find a good looking mirror sticking down at her socks. Hello, is everything okay? Okay, no, it's not. It's just totally socks. Huh? They seem pretty cute to me. What's wrong with them? What's wrong with them? They're on my hoops. This is terrible. Why? What's terrible? I want to be mess with cute mirror socks. What's terrible? I want to be free. I want to feel the ground beneath my hooves, not some silly socks. Well, couldn't you just take them off? And leave them on the ground by themselves? Alone and afraid? How could I even ask such a thing? Give them to Pepper. She would really want them? That's amazing news. Here you go. Enjoy. Oh, these socks are great! And she got her socks back. <laughs> the smile thank the new sockless mirror and continue on. Oh, these are relationships. I see, I see. Crying Philly. First of all, we're gonna do some more of this. Perfection. Oh god. Oh no, you're attacked by Shadow Mercy. Interesting. Hmm, 
Oh, so what do I do? I have no idea how this works. Tutorial, okay. Battle mode. Win conditions. Defeat all shadow horses or successful retreat. Lose conditions. No more HP. Okay. Alright. Use one mirror attack. If no mirror, then choose one trigger.
to her construction. How do you do? Duty, what you doing? I'm trying to figure out which tool I need to use. I have this plank. I'm trying to cut it in half. Stirring uh, it isn't doing that much. What should I do? So, we should try some. Let me help her pick up the saw with her mouth and cut some plank into two. She seems ecstatic. You're such a good engineer. Oh, thank you. Five green apples for comfort. Wasteland's achievement. That's my first achievement. Game set. The Northern Wastes! Ew, my hoopsies are getting this icky ash all over them. It's definitely ominous and somewhat depressing here. I can be sad when I have two good friends now to find a more short We made it we made it so far one night and we're done it together. I couldn't ask for better friends. Luna was different about this place compared to the Taiga. It's strange, but it looks like there's a lot of food just lying around. As a certified mare, I can say that we're not likely to find any mares living here. Looking at the landscape, I'm sure we'll see more shadow horses as well. Ash. These ash clouds make the whole area dark so that might be the case. Time to find a horse show the true mare there soon so we can leave. It'd be nice when this is over. I wonder what we'll do after. Our meal was to get a mission. That sounds like really nice, Moonlight. You flattery. You flatter you. Hmm? Mission, I need to that sounds like a good future. Maybe Purpose feels a little left out by that sentiment. But you're sure she'll get over it. Use it across the floor where you find the horseshoe. Shit, I didn't mean to upset Pepper. Said her, so I'm gonna help her first. Uh, so complicated with level ups. She probably needs your ability to move. That's a danger right now. What can I see? Danger level 4! some stuff. Oh, okay, why are you so generous all of a sudden? <coughs> Sugar, please.
Perfect. Nice. Find a ring of magical candles, and Mira must have placed these down to ward away shadow horses. The three of you are able to rest peacefully for some time in the safe zone. Your danger meter has been reset. Perfect. And sugar for you. Good. Okay, good, good, good. Doing good. Um, Oh, cave, cave, save zone. Hmm. Let's go to save zone again. Give it to... Over. Hey, is she gonna level up soon, I wonder? And then we're gonna be 100% perfect. There. Oh! I missed it. Shit. Okay. Save zone, save zone. Okay. Hmm. <coughs> Let's check the cave. Let's put a cave and decide to explore. At the end of the passage, you find a mere whimpering in the darkness. Hey there, who, why are you crying? I'm lost in this cave, it's scary and I'm all alone. How can you be all alone when I'm here, silly? I never thought about it like that before. Are you going to help me find my way out? Of course. Follow me, friend. I'll lead you out of this nasty cave. Please give me your back. Perfect. There's so many caves, that's cool. So that's what they give. They give you XP, friendship XP. Uh, we're gonna go to the cave again then. Find a path ahead forks. You hear Fang crying to the left and nothing to the right. We'll go left then. Uh huh. Okay, singing. Nazi and Nazi? Nazi and Nazi. Give me apples. Oh, yeah, hello. I should have not done that. You are shocked to see Amir walking up towards you slowly from the ashy haze ahead. Oh, oh, hello, I didn't realize there were any mares or... Before you can finish your sentence, the mare gives you a big sniff without warning. Uh, did you just sniff me? The mare is silent. She stares at you with a hint of a faint smile upon her face. Uh, are you okay? Do you want something? She is merely curious. You turn around to see another mare standing directly behind you. You startled me. It's you that she gave you a sniffs. Yeah, she did. What was that about? Why are you even all the way out here? You shouldn't ask questions. It's difficult not to when mares are sniffing me and popping out of nowhere behind me. She said that you are on a good path. You will succeed with your goals if you stay true to it. Well, that's uh, nice. The mare now suddenly turns around and begins to walk away. The sniffing mare hops past you, quickly following the other as they both stride onwards in a dangerous wasteland. Huh, me 
Get your peculiar mares achievement. Huh. Interesting. So she says I'm in the right path. That's good to know. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go to the cave. Stop our max out. I should probably focus on these. <laughs> Favorable encounters. Yeah, let's go to the cave again. episode here everyone i will see you in the next one